So dito naman sa project 3 ng exam 1 pa din, task 1. So doon daw sa first page, on the first page, sort the table alphabetically by specialty cakes from A to Z. So doon daw sa first page, ito yung table natin. Okay, and then pumunta tayo kay layout. Mag-select tayo rito kahit saan lang sa table. Okay. Basta nasa loob ka ng table. And then pumunta tayo kay layout contextual tab. Then dito kay data group, i-click natin si sort. And then sort by, sabi sa instruction, specialty cakes. So ascending, meaning ito from A to Z. Pag descending, ito yung Z to A. Okay, so ascending. Um, and then click natin yung OK. So ayan na, then mark completed. Task number 2, on the second page, below the heading na key clients. Ito. Convert daw natin yung text. Uh, from Campbell's Catering hanggang dun kay Candles and Cakes. So, ito po yun. Campbell's Catering hanggang dito daw kay Candles and Cakes. Um, I-convert na natin ito into a list na may default na bullets. So, i-highlight natin yan. Yung lima na yan. And then, dito kay Paragraph Group, kay Home Tab, Paragraph Group. I-click lang natin itong bullet. So, huwag nyo nang i-click itong dropdown kasi sabi default lang naman. So, pagka nag-click ka kasi na ito, ang default bullet natin is yung rounded na bullet. Ayan. And then, mark completed. Task 3. On the first page, immediately before the quote, we love the unique med hanggang kay Medford, Oregon. So, uh, dito daw, immediately before. So, ibig sabihin dito sa maya, uh, before mag-start yung quote before yung double quote na yan. mag insert daw tayo ng Austin quote text box. And then, saka daw natin i-move yung quote into the text box. So, i-click natin dito sa unahan. And then, insert tab. Dito kay text group, i-click natin yung text box drop down. And then, ito si Austin quote. Ayan, si Austin quote. Click na natin yan. Ayan, so magkakaroon tayo rito ng uh, text box. And then, i-move down natin yung quote dun sa text box. So, eto, i-highlight natin yung buo na yan. Okay, so make sure na hindi nasasama yung nasa taas na yun. Ayan. And then, katulad ng ginawa natin sa exam 1, uh, exam 2 ata yun, yun itadrag natin sa text box. So, habang naka-highlight ka, gamit yung mouse, i-drag mo siya papunta sa taas. Ayan. And then, mark completed. Task 4, apply the paintbrush artistic effect to the bakery graphic. So, wala na ibang picture dito, kundi itong nasa taas lang. Bakery graphic, i-apply daw natin yung paintbrush artistic effect. So, i-click natin yung picture, and then pumunta tayo ng picture format contextual tab. And then, sa may adjust group, i-click natin yung drop down artist, uh, artistic effect drop down. Then, hanapin natin si paintbrush. Marker. Line drawing. Paint strokes. Paintbrush. Ayan. Then, mark completed. Task 5. On the last page, insert into the text box uh, the cupcake icon located in the food and drinks category. So, dun daw sa may uh, text box na to mag insert tayo ng cupcake icon. So, i-click mo yung text box. Dapat nasa loob ka ng text box. Okay? And then, insert tab. And then, dito sa may illustrations group, i-click natin si icons. Sa mga gumagamit ng lumang Microsoft Office, like, ang alam ko, 2019 pa baba, wala siguro yung icons na choice dito, na tool. So, kailangan mo mag-install ng latest version ng Microsoft Office, which is yung Microsoft 365. So, i-click mo tong icons. And then, dito sa um, food and beverages na category. Asa na ba yun? Ayun. Food and drinks. Tama ba? Food and drinks. Ayun. Food and drinks category. Um, hanapin natin yung cupcake. Ayun yung cupcake. Now, may question kung anong, alin bang cupcake dito. Ito bang um, black or yung white. So, 
uh, try na natin itong block Ayan. and then insert then mark completed great project the next 